Bay Township residents will know by mid-March how many trees infested by the Asian longhorn beetle have to come down. That new information is being revealed in a private meeting tonight and a public one tomorrow. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is covering Claremont County News now and has details of both gatherings. Elected officials from all over Claremont County will gather here at East Fork Lake State Park in about half an hour to get an update from the U.S. Department of Agriculture on the Asian longhorn beetle infestation of Tate Township. The meeting is closed to the public and to the media. However, Nine News has learned they'll be told 81,000 trees have been surveyed so far. Over 6,000 are infested and have to come down, and about 2,500 have already been removed. Our cooperative is very much uh, in favor of them taking out the infesteds, but we just will not let them take the uh, non-infested healthy host trees out. Residents fear tens of thousands more may have to go, but that won't be known until an environmental assessment is done by mid-March. Bill Scavarla has been instrumental in organizing efforts to fight clear-cutting and push for chemical treatments, but fears the timing of the assessment is both good and bad news. It's a victory in that we've held them from taking the, tree, uh, the healthy trees down early, but by the same token, it's a bad thing in that now they're going to be able to say, well, we can't chemically treat the trees. It's too late in the season, so it's a double-edged sword. He's organized a Tuesday evening public meeting to give residents new information. Chemicals are, are being used everywhere else in the country in the infestations except here. They've never offered it up as an option. Travel down Swings Corner, Point Isabel Road, and you can see evidence of the tree removal. This house used to have trees lining both sides of the driveway. Scavarla's own front yard lost three trees, including one where the beetle was first spotted. It's sad. It brings tears to my eyes. I mean, to see these big 100, 150, to even 200-year-old uh, trees around here that are going down, it absolutely breaks my heart. Tuesday's meeting will be from 6 to 8 p.m. here at Bethel Tate High School. There's going to be a demonstration of possible chemical treatments of trees, and a crowd of 500 people is expected. Brendan? Tanya? Thanks, Tom. And residents will meet with their attorney prior to the public session. They're concerned that the private contractor is allowed to sell the chips from the downed trees and they are not being compensated.